Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Welcome to sunny Kansas. <laughs> oh, check this out. I got about a 20, 22 mile an hour, uh, pretty much a tailwind. I'm out here with my 350 Legend slash 9 millimeter. Wait, what? 350 Legend slash 9 millimeter? That's right, folks. If you look up some of my older videos, I sent this 9mm barrel to Brian, my buddy over at SSK Industries here in Ohio, and he took my 9mm 1 in 10 twist barrel and rechambered it to a 350 Legend. He's got the reamers now. You're wondering why the heck would you do a 350 Legend in 1 in 10 twist? Well, I'll tell you what, this rifle set up for subsonic, shooting like 280 to 300 grain big bullets at subsonic velocities. However, I know my guys at Lehigh, they were curious to see how this barrel and the relatively faster twister, twister, twist rate would work with supersonic bullets. So I'm shooting the now production Lehigh Defense 350 Legend, 355 caliber, 150 grain controlled fracturing bullets. We'll see how they do. Uh, I've got the Armaspec XPDW. That's right, XPDW Gen 2 stock. This is an awesome stock. I got it in the uh, flat dark earth. Pretty sweet, man. I'll tell you what, it's all aluminum with the hardened steel rods. Uh, I've got my uh, AR-15 350 Legend. Of course, once again, I get the SSK Industries Custom Chamber 350 Legend. This is a 16-inch barrel. I got the Superlative Arms Piston Kit. Up front, I've got a Bowers Goop Verse 45 can with the Cole Tack Python suppressor cover. Has a high temperature cover underneath. Up top, I got the Vortex Optics Crossfire 2 4 to 12 by 50 scope, one inch main body. Uh, the old school adjust adjustable objective on the front objective. Now, I made a really bad mistake. Well, you know, like my dad always said in the Marines, you know, you need to learn to improvise, overcome, and adapt. In my haste this morning, I loaded everything up except for my stupid target stand. Fortunately, I had an old chair, fold-up chair, and I had some targets. I actually sighted this rifle in at 25 yards. I look at my shooter apps. I should be about 1.7 inches um, low at 25 yards put me on de dead on at 100. I've got a 10 inch steel plate at 210 yards verified with a Sig Sauer. This is the Kilo 1000 rangefinder. I've got three minutes dialed come up. We'll see if I can hit that steel plate. Let me get the uh, phone scope turned off. Now I apologize to the phone scope tripod video shaky because of this wind. All right here we go. Impact. Uh, looks like it hit about two o'clock high. Yeah, favoring a uh, right side. Let me come down. I'll come down one minute. I'm gonna come over right. I'm sorry. I'm gonna come over left. See what that does. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that was a bullseye, like six o'clock on the black. And again. No call on that one. There we go. It's a little uh, background on the uh, the uh, rifle. Once again, this is a one in ten twist barrel. You know, when the 350 Legend was first developed by Winchester. For some reason, they put a 1 in 16 inch twist barrel on the rifles 
which is probably fine for the you know lighter for caliber uh, supersonic bullets but for the subsonic bullets is way too slow of a twist so I had the bright idea of taking my nine millimeter barrel because we all know let's stop pulling punches the 350 legend is not 357 it's 355 I know guys have been taking uh, 357 lead core bullets and swaging them down to 355 you can't do that with the Lehigh bullet these are solid copper regardless I think this thing is definitely doing well uh, I wouldn't hesitate to shoot a deer out at this distance let's send some more rounds downrange and back In fact, in fact, all right, I think it's stacking them right in there. I may come up just a little bit. She's a blowing now. Heck yeah, not too bad, man. Check that out. Once I got her dialed in from the wind, look at that, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's at least six shots. Man, gotta love them apples. Heck yeah. 210 yards, 350 legend, Lehigh Defense, 150 grain control fracturing bullets. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm really loving this Armaspec XPDW Gen 2 stock. Rock solid, buddy. All right, folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Definitely going to try to be deer hunting with this setup in Ohio this year. Remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you.